Before I start the video, I just wanted to say how grateful I am to anyone who has viewed or subscribed to the channel. If it's of interest, please click on the subscribe button in the bottom right of the screen. I'll be putting out videos on a regular basis. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Dark Side Scenics. In this video I'll be showing you how I made this stone circle diorama. For the base I'm using a shelf from an old bathroom cabinet. I'm just keying the surface to ensure it's easier to stick things to it. To build up the terrain I'm using some offcuts from the shed and gluing them in place. When the glue is dry, I use sculpt mould to create the earth base. You simply put some in a bowl, add some water and then mix. It's just a case of whacking it onto the diorama and then over time you can smooth this out. When the sculpt mold is dry, I use a watered down burnt umber acrylic paints for the base. Matte Mod Podge is added over the entire diorama ready for the earth texture. The earth is two parts woodland scenic spine turf and one part brown grout which I picked up from B&Q. Then a quick spray of watered down washing up liquid before adding the scenic cement with a pipette. Moving on to the stones, I'll be using Das Clay. If you've seen stone circles on Dartmoor or elsewhere, you'll have noticed that the shapes and sizes of the stones are completely random. It makes this job much easier, as all you have to do is avoid uniformity. I made quite a few more than I needed just to give me some options. I use a plate as a template and then score a light pencil mark around the outside. When I'm happy with the position of the stones, I use scenic glue to hold them in place. I use a small amount of earth texture around the stones just to cover any gaps. Another quick spray of watered down washing up liquid and then scenic cement holds the earth in place. To create the granite effect on the stones I'm using quick drying filler which I'm watering down. Moving around the circle I stipple the stones with the filler. I usually do this twice to ensure I don't miss any gaps. When the fillers dry, I usually mix up two or three acrylic washes. I usually find it's better to have the wash slightly too watery and then I can build up the layers slowly. For the static grass I'm using WWS Basing Glue. I've left some space for a path and also some patchy areas in the centre of the stones. For the base layer I'm using 2mm WWS dead grass. When that's dry I'm using some more basing glue around the stones for the long grass. I'm also using some layering spray to create random patches of long grass on the edges. 
This is 4mm WWS Dead Grass. Some more layering spray is used before adding 4mm golden wheat. The final part is to sprinkle on some purple flowers. For the path I'm using light earth weathering powder and I'm also adding some more in the centre for some general wear. You always tend to see lichen growing on granite, so here I've got two weathering powders, one white and one greeny brown. Using a very small amount of water, I add it to the powder to make a paste, and then in small patches, add it to the stones. For the final photos, there's nowhere better than Dartmoor at sunrise. <laughs>